Hi guys, welcome back to Microsoft Power User. You're here with me, Tom, and today we're looking at the new Twitter app for Windows 10, um, for Windows 10 Mobile. It's only just come out today, um, and thankfully it's all updated, so we've got everything here which we've got pretty much on our iOS and Android counterparts, which is great. It's finally brilliant to see. Um, so first things first, you've actually got a choice between light and dark. I've got it on light at the moment, but if you switch to a, uh, if you switch to the dark theme on your phone, you do actually get the dark theme on the Twitter. Um, you can't change that at the moment, which is a bit of a pain um, in the app, but you have to change it through that way. Um, but yeah, overall it looks good and it feels great. It feels like it's been specifically designed for Windows 10, which it has. So it's not a poor, it's not like a dodgy iOS or Android version. This feels like the, the full deal, which is fantastic. And it's really nice to see that for a Windows 10 device. So one of the, the main features are you've got um, you've obviously got Twitter Moments, which is like their relatively new thing, which lets you catch up on everything. Um, I was a bit worried this wouldn't be here, but because it, it's relatively new in general, but it's it's here as well, so you can catch up on the latest news, sports, entertainment, all that sort of thing. Um, you've got your notifications up here, um, your private messages there, and obviously your home screen here. You can switch between user here like you normally would as well, um, which is fantastic. Nice to see the multi account support. Um, and then moving back to here, we've actually got proper uh, retweet and quote tweet here as well. So if we click this one, um, you can see I've got a retweet and a quote tweet. So I can quote that tweet and be like, uh, feel, I can just be like that um, and retweet it if I wanted to. Or if I just wanted to do a simple retweet, then I can just obviously press retweet instead. Also, um, what's new as well is if you make a brand new message, you can write a message like normally word. You've got uh, quick links there for apps and hashtags, but also you can attach a video or a picture. And with pictures, you're not actually limited to one. So you can add one and you can be like, actually, I want to add another and then pop on something else you want to tweet as well. And then like that. So then we can write our tweet. Um, I'm going to put hell. Yes and then tweet that sort of stuff. I'll put heel, oh no. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, so that's brilliant as well. And it's also a universal Windows app, which means if you've got Continuum, it's going to work as well on there. So once you plug it into Continuum, you actually get pretty much exactly the same app as you get on Windows 10 if you've been using that Twitter app at all, which actually I use quite a lot of the time. So like I say, you've got your, your Me tab, um, messages, notifications, moments, and home is literally exactly the same, um, which is fantastic. So if, yeah, if you're lucky enough to have Continuum on your phone and you've got a, uh, a way to attach it to a screen, then you get that experience as well. So that was a brief look at the Windows 10 Twitter app, which has uh, just come out today. Make sure you download it, have a look, and let us know what you think in the comments. I've been Tom from Microsoft Power User, and remember to check our website for all the new Microsoft stuff. See you later.